Hello my dear students, welcome to today's video on my channel Mathematics Made Easy. Hi Ms. Ruchika, welcome you to today's video which is going to be especially for my grade 9 elite students who are going to give the math exam for term 3 very soon. So this video is part 1 covering learning objective 8. So let's dive into the video and quickly see what questions are we solving today. So let's solve in this video learning objective 8 where you apply the addition rule to situations involving events that are mutually exclusive. So here I am taking a solved example. This is example 1 given in your math book on page 406. This is usually a card problem. So a card is drawn from a standard deck of 52 cards. You have to determine whether the events are mutually exclusive or not mutually exclusive. Also you need to give your reason. So there are three parts ABC. Uh, the probable definition that we are going to be using for this question for mutually exclusive events is the following. If two events cannot happen at the same time, they are said to be mutually exclusive. So we are going to look for common outcomes. I will highlight this definition. So they will not happen at the same time if they are mutually exclusive. That is, they have no outcomes in common. So in these three problems, you have to look at the two events which are given. So in the first question, the event is drawing a 3 and a drawing a 2. Are these events having anything in common? If yes, if they have something in common, it will be not mutually exclusive. If they don't have anything common or they cannot happen together, they are going to be mutually exclusive. So that's what you need to check. In part B, you have to draw a 7 or a red card. Are these mutually exclusive or not? You have to tell. And in part C, you have to draw a queen or a spade. Are these mutually exclusive or not? That is, you need to look for common outcomes. So let's go uh, to the next slide. I will show you in detail uh, what all cards are there in a standard deck of 52 cards. And then we will come to the answer of this question. Here on this slide, I have pasted for you a picture of a standard deck of 52 cards. As you see, 50% of the cards are red in color, 50% are black in color and these are four sets of 13 cards each. So let's look into more detail into this pack of cards and then we'll come back to the question on mutually exclusive events. So if you saw the last picture in the video carefully, you would have seen that there are four sets as I told you of 13 cards each. The first set is called spade. So there are 13 cards here. Out of these 13 cards, you see the number cards, which has the number. You see king, queen, jack, and ace. Similarly, you have hearts, which are shown by the symbol of hearts. So you can see a different symbol for spades, a different for hearts, different for diamonds, and different for clubs. So these are 13 cards each. So 13 multiplied by 4. So in all, there are 52 pack of cards. Let's go into more detail into the different kind of cards that are there in a standard deck of 52 cards. So I hope looking at the uh, previous slides on the pack of cards, you are able to identify uh, the different kinds of cards that are there. So as you see in the pack of 52 cards, 26 cards are black cards, which are spade and club, and 26 cards are red, which are diamond and heart. In each of these categories, so there are 13 spades, 13 clubs, 13 diamonds and 13 hearts, you have one king in each of them, one queen in each of them, one jack in each of the categories, one ace in each of the categories, and two to ten number cards are there. Okay, so in all you have these 52 cards. Now that you know the classification of the different kinds of cards, we are ready to solve the question. So let's go to the question back again. You look at part A, drawing a three number card or a two number card. They don't have anything in common. There are two different cards and a card cannot be uh, having number two and three together at the same time. It's not possible. Therefore, since they don't have any common outcomes, they cannot happen together. They will be mutually exclusive. So that's the answer for part A. However, for part B and C, the events are going to be not mutually exclusive. The reason is because if you go to draw a 7 and a red card, then you will get some common outcomes. What is that our common outcome? It is the 7 of diamonds. It is going to be red in color and it will have the number 7. So they have some events which is common in both. Therefore, they will be not mutually exclusive. 
last one drawing a queen or a spade so you will have a queen in the set of spades so the queen of spades represents the common outcome which is in queen also which is a spade also so they do have common outcomes that is they are not mutually exclusive i hope with the pictures of the card which was shown to you all these three parts are clear today video thank you for watching stay glued to my channel mathematics made easy don't forget to like share and subscribe to get more videos which help you for your math revision until then this is mr chika signing off from my channel wish you all the best for the coming math exam bye bye